In an earlier talk, I had said that the Gospel of Luke, besides being known by many other names, is also the Gospel of women. And in an incident with Luke as a man, he has another incident almost immediately concerning a woman. The Gospel of Luke is also known as the Gospel of compassion or great mercy because Jesus is shown as more compassionate in Luke than in the other Gospels. In today's Gospel, we will hear both these aspects of the Gospel of Luke. And the first of these is that there is a scene in which the only son of a widow had died. At the time of Jesus, the life of a widow was extremely difficult at the time of Jesus because the widow had no male to help her. It was not easy for her to do what she had to do because at the time of Jesus, society was very strongly male dominated. So the widow was looked at not in a very positive manner. The widow was looked at as someone who could be taken advantage of. And this woman, who is a widow, has now lost the only visible means of support in her son. We are not told how old the son was. He could have been a young boy. He could have been a man. And yet, Jesus goes to as they are carrying the man to be buried. He sees the widow crying and his first words are words of healing. When he says to her, do not cry. He says do not cry because he knows practically what he is going to do. He says do not cry because he realizes that there is no limit to the miracles that he can work. He says do not cry. Christ because life is too short for any one of us to cry. And then he goes and simply touches the place on which the man lay, the man who was dead, and he gets up now and is given back to his mother. Jesus reaches out in compassion to anyone and everyone in need. We hear and see this beautiful text of today in which the people are amazed and speak about how God has visited his people. The manifesto of Jesus did not proclaim explicitly that the dead would be raised, but it was taken for granted that if the blind recovered their sight, if the oppressed were set free, the acceptable year of the Lord would be a year of life and not death. Jesus is not a God of the dead. He is a God of the living. And that is why for those of us who believe in him, death holds no fear. For that is why of those of us who believe in him, death is not the limitation. Death is not the end. It is only the beginning of new life. To every one of us who is undergoing some challenge or another, to every one of us who is undergoing some loss or another, to every one of us who is undergoing some disadvantage or another, Jesus says, like he said to the widow, do not cry. 